Good evening. Thanks for joining me. As you can see here, I got a letter from Hogwarts Witchcraft and Wizardry School of. Yeah, I said it. Looks like it's from Professor Weasley, Deputy Headmistress. I would assume that M is Molly? That was her name, right? In the... Yeah, it was Ron's mom, Molly. I'm pretty sure that's right. Anywho, I got a letter. I'm going to read it to y'all. We are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as a fifth-year student. Term begins on 1 September. Preliminary supplies have been collected for you and will accompany you on your journey to the castle. As you may be aware, the decree for the reasonable restriction of underage sorcery prohibits the use of magic by those under the age of 17 outside school. However, due to the unique circumstances, the ministry has graciously agreed to allow Professor Elazier, Elazier Fig to help you hone your spellcasting before escorting you from London to the castle for the start of term feast and the sorting ceremony. I'm pretty sure I butchered that name. It's fine, though. Press F to start game. F to start game. Okay. We got some character creation going on here. Oh, look at him. He's a douche. Uh. Okay, so we got a couple different presets by the looks of it. Oh, I like him. Yeah. Yeah, I think I like him better. Okay. Face shape. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh my. Okay. Uh. Eh. Yeah, I like that one better. Skin color. Whoa. Super pasty. That's yeah, fine. No glasses. We're not trying to be Potter Harry here. What's next? Hairstyles? Harry Styles? God, I'm going to get copyrighted. Harry Styles is going to sue me. Okay. 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 All kinds of different hair options for you. No, I'm just going to go with that. I think that's fine. Complexion. Yeah, that's fine. Freckles and moles, that's fine. I don't really care. I kind of like... I've always gone with the slash marks. I don't know why. I always thought those look cool. Or do we not... Eh, yeah. We'll get one up on Harry Potter here. Eye color. Hmm, let's see. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, I like the purple. Eyebrows. I can see people spending a lot of time on this. Just like they did with Fallout 4. Oh, the monstrosities that came out of that game. Oh, yeah, sure, that's fine. <clears throat> oh, voice 2. That was quite something. That's weird. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. Okay. Literally, sounds like Harry Potter. We're going to be Grim... Whoops. Whoops, Splicer. Dormitory. The choice will determine your player character's dormitory. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So this is basically the girls' and boys' dormitory? So I can choose to be in the girls' dormitory, but clearly I'm a male. Alright, we're not going to get into that. We're just going to go with wizard. We're going to start this journey before something happens. Oh, cussing. Ah, it appears we are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me before the time begins. Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George, 
Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Oh, snap. That was creepy. Oh, here we go. Intro. I did lower the music a little bit, unfortunately. Um, I didn't want to get copyrighted because I was feeling... Yeah, they would probably really love to go after people. So many people are going to get copyrighted on this game. It's not even funny. Glad I caught you before you left for Scotland. <laughs> Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted right, to Hogwarts. So bothering late. me because it doesn't match Whatever my character's I. face. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing I think you could change that in now, the settings. The headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? <sighs> she wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Merlin's beard! H how did you- Wait! We do-
Well, that was intense. Are you alright? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Oh Take my god, his voice is driving me insane. Well potion. That stuff will write you in a second. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Okay. We are in the game. This looks really well. This was really well done. Alright, I think there is a place... Because I get, came into the game just to mess around with some stuff. Uh, audio. There you go. Pitch. Uh, let's go with that. That might be too extreme. We'll find out, though. Oh, that's gorgeous. Far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you the think... The port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Um... It's a pretty distinguishable path there. Mind it's not your step. faded at all, for sure. Oh, this actually, this looks really good. Oh, look at that. That is really well done. Where do you suppose your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Individual water droplets in the puddle? How bad? This castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key. But I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, there's the path down below. This way. Indeed. Indubitably. Uh, uh. Why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. So, uh, that lowering that, that pitch made it. It's not his voice really here. robotic. It's it fine though. I can be a cyborg. Enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Excuse me. Focus on the center. Oh, my wand. Okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. It feels pretty smooth. Uh, used your camera. 
to select an active target. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Is that it? Huh. That was a bit rougher than I'd expected. Oh, we can destroy pots. Got some Zelda vibes. Improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Oh. Is there a level up system where the more you use it, the more, the more better, much more better. Watch out! Like my dance moves. Ah, up there. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm I like this guy. He seems fun. He's pretty nimble for an old guy too. Can we just levitate over We're there? Close now. It's just ahead. Can we just Leviosa our asses over there? Leviosa, not Leviosa. Steady yourself! Reparo! What? So I thought that spell was just to fix, like, glasses and crap, but apparently it can fix ancient bridges. That seems OP. God, I want to be a wizard. Almost there. Nope. This looks like a boss area. This is totally a boss arena. Phew. Why Ew. did build this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That porky led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Okay. Uh, the mini map shows your surroundings with the arrow in the middle. This little funny little guy is your current objective. Press an old V to toggle quest objective details. Okay, press an old V. Uh huh. So if uh, we need blah, 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 blah. Okay. Wait. Oh. Tab targeting. Mm hmm. Professor, this statue. This may have been his home. That. That's a terrible observation. That's just something. What? What? Why would you have a statue of yourself? Well, why wouldn't you have a statue of yourself is a better question. God. Hold on. Is there a way to change the sensitivity of this damn thing? Uh, upscale sharpness, video. Hmm. Yeah, 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 that's all on. Hold on, sorry. Bear with me for a second. Ah, look at that. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna bring everything up and then adjust it from there because that was just way too slow. Oh, God. They're all not the same. It's gonna drive somebody insane. I'm sorry. That's better. That's, oh, that's much better. 100% better. All right, enough killing that pots. Enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig. Oh. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the port key container. Okay. Uh, wait, there's an event. Ah, uh, investigate. I like that woman in the background. 
Roderick's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. It's a goblin. Are we in the bank? This is totally the bank. Except less bankier than the normal bank. I like the particle effects. Hold on, there's a chest over here. Oh, I can. What? Alright, so... There's a money system. Can I buy owls? I very much like an owl. Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key? Mm hmm? Your wife's port key. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Needs a manicure. You. I feel like there's a safer transportation method. Or more efficient. Keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> no. You don't get sea belts? That's fine. Goblins are known for their caring nature. <clears throat> oh. Look at that hole. How many volts are there in Green? Oh. Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. What's the you point to take a breath of the Support. spinny? Tracks. That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four <laughs> centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. Oh, I'm settled. I'm actually quite enjoying. Aww. Ooh, look at this guy. Vault number. Vault twelve. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. On your way. Boy, he is eyeballing him something awful. Professor, mm -hmm. the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container? No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. <clears throat> to save the day. 
When was the last time this fort was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Oh. <clears throat> That's not suspicious to them? No, I guess they're not paid to think, right? Just like most of us. Vault 12. Thank you for your help. I like the transition what scenes. You looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Best of luck. <sighs> Professor, okay. that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh, God. Steady your wand with your mouse and guide it along the symbol's path to learn the spell. Press the corresponding input when prompted to accelerate your wand's motion along the symbol's path. Okay. Wait. What? Wait, what? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, thank God I don't have to keep doing that. Something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Oh my God, I'm oh, getting such nerd start. vibes from this. There's that symbol again. I am a grown ass no, man, and to... I'm enjoying I this Harry Potter Professor, game. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the pool key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Okay. Uh, investigate. Blue Moss. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Oh, God. Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. We've got to earn our way out, if you know what I mean. And the graphics are actually very, very well done in this. The effects are outstanding, I actually. See up ahead. What is it? That glow, <clears throat> but on the floor. When I what? moved towards um. the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. Whoops. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Mm okay. Alright, so this seems pretty simple. 
Oh god. Okay. We got that. I'm getting the hang of it. We're good. Uh, you've acquired the Wand Lighting Charm Loomis, which has automatically been slotted to your spell slot. Luminous creates a light at the tip of your wand to help you see dark areas. Lumos, well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Okay. Oh. Oh, is this gonna be a battle? Oh god, Q. Very quick and coming attacks. Wait, did I automatically stupefy? There's somebody behind me. Oh! Oh, come on. That was pretty sweet, actually. I whiffed it on a couple of the blocks, but... Oh, no. Now I'm by myself. Professor! Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? This isn't good. No. Where am I supposed <clears throat> to go? Oh. What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. I don't know if there's anything extra in here to find or see. I doubt there's anything in here. Ah, oh, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Okay, now there's three. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. Seems I have no choice. I'm gonna to have to fight my way out of here. I got this. Crack my neck. Uh, hold Q during Protego to stun enemies with Stupefy counterattack. Stun enemies take extra damage, indicated by gold numbers. I've been doing that though. I keep stupefying the wrong person. Okay, I held it too long. I got this. Oh, snap. Oh, almost whipped it on that one. I'm not gonna heal quite yet. Lumos. Okay. I'm getting the I'm getting the hang of it. I'm getting the hang of it. Oh, 
Oh, that's a... Wait, is that the same size? This is so cool. I'm just... I'm so stoked about this. You have no idea. Whoops. Wrong way. Oh. What we got here? Hey, there he is. How did you... What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder... Follow my lead. Okay, I will follow your lead. Is that sanitary? I don't know where that old man's face has been. All is in place. The porky is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created... May be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were all rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <clears throat> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that... The instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have them. Oh. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well... 
Perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Oh, there it is. There it is. There's the train. The owl. Where's Hermione and George and I can't remember anybody else's name. Off the top of my head. Look at that. The Harry Potter castle. I'm sorry, it's Hogwarts. It's not Harry Potter's castle. He may be the star, but you know what? Nobody liked him. Let's be honest. I was a Hagrid fan. I should think Hagrid should have just won everything. And that was just the intro. Good intro, everybody. Good intro. Loading, please wait. Oh god, render better. Oh good, we haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Oh, absolutely. yourself to meet the headmaster fig nice of you to join us the sorting ceremony is over there were complications complications it seems the goblin Enough. problem has goblins i've no time for rumors fig and i'm rapidly losing whatever patience i had left if you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. <laughs> Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. Right. 
You're just in time. Have a seat. So that's Molly. Is this actually going to sort us, or do we choose? God, I want a sorting hat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? His mouth isn't moving. You come oh, there we go. with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Uh, I can't wait to explore or start classes. Shh, I'm looking classes. forward to meeting my professors and learning all I can at Hogwarts. Indeed. Hogwarts has much to offer a dedicated student. And what you learn in class will prepare you for challenges outside the classroom as well. Hmm. I wonder. Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm, what is it? Hmm. Ambition, loyalty, curiosity, daring. Um. Ambition, I guess? Is I it know. ambition? I may seem single minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. Okay, so it says I belong in Slytherin. Um... I really kind of wanted to be at Ravenclaw. I'm not going to lie. Uh, Hufflepuff's a... Oh, that's interesting. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to be in Ravenclaw. Known for intelligence, creativity, and wit. Yeah, I like Ravenclaw. And you've already mined. Quick to learn. Yeah, I want to be Ravenclaw. <clears throat> I like how it gives you an option. Even though answering questions, you kind of... I mean... You belong in Ravenclaw! Depending on how you answer one of those four questions is going to be what you're sorted into anyway. So it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> A bit oh, touchy. And one glitchy. more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether, but don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said... I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As deputy headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Yeah, it's uh, a little bit jittery between transitions. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I am, Professor. This is the entrance to the Ravenclaw common room. You must solve a riddle to enter. I won't be of much help, I'm afraid. This sort of thing has always confounded me. Who lived longer? The ghost or the poltergeist? A ghost or a poltergeist? Hmm. A non-being can never have been. 
Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. I don't like that riddle. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. All right. Sweet bit. Oh, look at those reflections. Nice. It's a very plush carpet. Can you hear that? Super plush. Oh, never mind. It's probably my robe. Now that I think about it. All right. Is there a save? Save game. Save game. All right. Is there a quick save? That's my other question. Uh, nope. On foot, mounts, spells and actions, map, accessing menus, tool wheel, field guide, inventory, gear, challenges, quests, map, collections, owl post, spell selection, talents. Wow. I'm actually impressed. Loom. Mini games. Quest field guide loading screen. Choose safe. So, okay. Whatever. It doesn't matter. All right. So do I have an inventory? Wait a minute. What? I hit I. I bring me to this. Hold on. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. Uh, features, tool wheel, map, spells, mounts, mm, menus. Wait a minute. What? Where'd it go? Home potion. Uh, dialogue, tool wheel. There we go. Invent oh, inventory's L? Oh, maybe because I don't have an inventory yet. All right, let's just let's just go. Oh, look at that. Collection's kind of generic. Movement's okay. Uh, find your common room. Interesting. Introduce yourself to people. He's always talking to stuff. And then look at his face if you don't buy something. He's like a child with an empty pillowcase on Christmas morn. Did you get your victory? Just have to wait for the right moment. Oh no. One moment. Watch this. Ugh. What is this? Someone threw a dumb bomb. <laughs> a dumb bomb. That wasn't quite the reaction I wanted. Oh well. Right. What did you hope would happen? I suppose I hoped it would lighten the mood. Ravenclaws can be a bit on edge the first day of class. I'm Everett, by the way. You seem downright calm next to some of these characters. And you survived a rather harrowing trip here. How did you even know that, though? Because I was supposed to keep it a secret. Did I already... Did I already... Am I talking to my sleep? Oh, look. Ignatia Wildsmith. And her eyes blinked. That is awesome. Man, this is game of the year all over it. Uh, looking forward I'm to my first to day. Here. Ready for classes to start. Good. Glad to hear it. Truly, there's no reason to be nervous. Most professors are firm, but fair. 
I mean, not all of the tricks I play are as simple as a tossed dung bomb, and I'm still here. Wait, did you say most professors are fun but fair? Ha, <laughs> I did. But probably best I let you judge for yourself. I do tend to push their limits. I should wander off before someone traces that dung bomb back to me. <laughs> nice meeting you. You too, Everett. Okay. I met Everett. Oh, there's a ghost. Can I pick the dung bomb up? No, I cannot. New fifth year. I wonder where they're from. Can't imagine starting a new school this late. Don't be judging me. Don't be judging me. What you read in there? I zoom in. No. I could have sworn that was sparkling, but apparently it wasn't. Can I play the harp? No, apparently not. You got... Oh, those are those chocolate frog things. Excuse me, pardon me. Oh. I can apparently light this on fire at some point. That's cool. When I'm in Hogsmeade, I always pay a visit to Dogweed and Deathcap. Must be Madame Green different. Be Starting Hogwarts in your so fifth year. You definitely year. want to stay on her good side. I'd like to open I'm not a shop sure this is the right someday. spot. Glad Rags could do with some competition. I'd love to have a house in one of I'm so places. glad I joined the nerds. Okay, what did that do for me? I want him to be in the perfect place. A place he'll be happy with. But I can't seem to find it. Great golden gobstones. I want him to thrive here. Golden gobstones? <laughs> My own little expression. I bought this Dittany seedling from home and I so want him to feel cozy. Dittany is amazing, isn't it? So much healing power in such a little plant. <laughs> I have a bit of a thing for plants, as you can see. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. I'm Samantha. Nice to meet you, Samantha. Is Dittany used in Wiganwell potion? It is! Looks like someone's been studying up on their potion making. Not Actually, at all. Actually, Professor Fig told me about the Wiganwell potion. Of course! You didn't tell you about I it, you drank it. Him before term. He's an enigma, Fig. Teaches about theory, yet seems to know a lot about practical magic. Uh, I wouldn't really know. He's quite knowledgeable. Oh, I mean, he is knowledgeable. Professor Fig does know a great deal about, um different forms of magic. Well, I hope he told you about more than Wiganweld. You've lots to catch up on, I'm sure. Oh, nice talk with you. Isn't Hustle, Huffle, isn't it Hufflepuffs who like plants? Do most students grow their own ingredients? An affinity for herbology is more typical of a Hufflepuff than a Ravenclaw, isn't it? Ordinarily, perhaps, but it runs in my family. We've a full plot of these little fellows back home. I suppose you could say herbology is in my roots. Ah, ah, I see what you did there. Ah. Is it common practice for students to grow their own ingredients? Oh, yes. In fact, our herbology teacher, Professor Garlic, encourages it. And I don't think Professor Sharp, our potions master, cares where you get your ingredients as long as your brews are all perfect. Did she say Professor Garlic? Ugh. It's nice to meet you, Samantha. The puns, with your the puns Thank are going to be everywhere. And good luck to you too on your first day. Thanks. I'm going to eat another apple. What is this chick doing? Okay. Oh, the rug is messed up. What are you guys doing? Strain that out. Okay. Got a little bit of a environment you can play around with. I like it. Fire looks good. That's just brilliant, Amit. Brilliant. You think you could? Ah, that is not how that. Why, hello. Would you like to take a look? Oh yes, please. Can't see too much in the day. 
Well, except for stars like Sirius, Canopus, Vega, and Arcturus. I'm Amit. Pleasure to have you in Ravenclaw. Never met someone who's been so close to a dragon before. Can't say I'd recommend it, frankly. It's nice to meet you, Amit. I take it you like astronomy. Oh, yes. So much to be learned from the stars. Also, there's something about the open air and night sky above the tower. It's invigorating. You will adore astronomy. Professor Shaw is incredibly knowledgeable. I do find the stars fascinating. I hope astronomy is on my schedule. Sounds interesting. I schedule. have good news for you. You are most definitely taking astronomy. It is required for all fifth years. You will be enthralled with the tower. Plus, a quality telescope can show you things you never dreamed of. I suppose I'll see you in class then. Yes. Oh, and speaking of class, better get to my first one of the year. Nothing like the smell of fresh parchment, is there? Be seeing you! I really like how I sound like an android. New Ravenclaw. Professor Weasley is looking for you just outside. You would best not keep her waiting. Who said that? Where did that voice come from? I ain't done looking around. Alright, I am going to love this game. Uh, I'm going to end this episode right here. I think this is a good stopping point. Um, and then we'll get back into it and see what Professor Weasley wants with us. Thanks for joining me, and uh, we'll see you next time.